Hello guys, in this video we'll be talking about the best jelly bean ROM that I can be actually found for the Samsung Galaxy Mini till this date. So this ROM has many advantages over all the other ROMs that are found in the XDA developers at right now. Some people have been complaining about this ROM but I really don't know. I never faced any issues and with this video I'll be showing the advantages that are of this ROM and that I never faced any issues which are currently reported. I guess you guys downloaded the wrong version. This would be the RC5 release of the uh, CM10.1 ROM by Rohan007 of XDA. The link will, links will be down below. Make sure you download the ROM or the RC5 version right from the first page of the XDA page link of the ROM that is given below in the descriptions. Okay, to get started, let's start out with a few advantages of this ROM or why it's, this ROM is great so the first that you would notice all around this video would be that it is resized it is sized very well the icon the icons the launcher the clock widget and stuff the notification bars and trays everything is well designed and well sized and it's perfect for the LDPI so let's head off to the lock screen and as you can see there you have your date and the calendar widget so if I pull it down there you get the calendar widget and everything as you can see is well sized and perfect for the LDPI which you don't get in most ROMs. Something or the other is always misplaced and misresized and stuff. So that would be the ROM. The next big thing would be the battery life. It gives a quite a lot of a battery life. So let's open up the battery and see. So there you go. It says 8 hours and 45 minutes and 22 seconds in battery and it says 52% not charging so it was actually around 16% when uh, when it, I started charging for a bit because I was really running out of power to shoot this video so it would be 8 hours 46 minutes 22 seconds on battery with 16 16% left not 52% so you get around say 9 hours on normal or I get had a medium usage all throughout the day to test the battery life so with low usage or if you are an outdoors and stuff you'd easily get around 12 to 13 hours on this ROM so that's pretty good because that's to suffice most users for heavy usage you would get around say 5 to 6 hours like say gaming or if you are using the GPS a lot and stuff but if you are just listening to music or texting or browsing a bit it would last around 8 to 9 hours and on really normal usage it would last around 12 hours as you could see so let's open up the dialer and you would see that the dialer is well resized and stuff okay that took up some time so there you see there you go the dialer is really well designed and well spaced out so no keys is overlapping each other as you would find in some ROMs so that's really great there would be the contacts and the favorites and okay the next big thing about this ROM is it's, it's small in size and leaves up a lot of space inside the system space so you can actually you know like send some bigger apps inside the system memory and save up on the internal storage so I'll head over to system and as you can see I have around 12.78 MP free right now and after installation of this ROM there was around 25 MB space free so what I did was send downloaded the Google Play Services APK which takes around 15 MB of space from the internal storage and I just placed it over here so that you know I save up on the internal storage and after which is around the APK is around 8 MB in size and as you can also see I placed inside the keep APK so really I saved some a lot of internal space so around 15 plus 5 that's around 20 MB of internal space and that's actually a lot for a device which has only 110 or 105 MB of free space after installation of a custom ROM. So that's the biggest advantage of this ROM and that's what I found the most useful in this ROM. And it's also the most versatile ROM that I have ever seen. It runs smoothly. So let's head over to manage applications. And okay, so that's take up in time. Head over to running and let's see. So I have around 43 MB of free space over there, free RAM sorry, of free RAM over there so that's a lot of RAM free, that's enough for you know actually help allowing the raw phone to run smoothly. So I'll just stop that application over there 
and I have around 46 MB that is used up by the settings so when I clear it out I have around say 90 MB of free RAM all the time while using the ROM so that's a lot of free RAM and it allows the phone to run really smoothly so I have all these applications and I can really send the big applications to my SD card because the app to SD works brilliantly on this phone or on this ROM net actually so those, these are the really important things that would actually help the ROM to run fine on the phone so I guess this would be the best Jelly Bean ROM that Galaxy Mini can have till date so in future I'll be reviewing the 4.3 ROMs that are actually out right now and let's see what that keeps in store for us because what Jelly Bean 4.2.2 won't have is the trim facility which actually increases performance and it is actually present from Android 4.3 so I'll be installing that ROM and trying it out for a few days and I'll see if it works better or if the trim actually increases performance in our devices. So thank you for watching, subscribe us for more and more tutorials like you know saving up the entire ROM or taking a backup of the entire system image and stuff. And as I would say again if you want any links or any download links don't request in the YouTube comments it's we can't really post links out there you get to go need to go off to the our blog or to our facebook page or to our twitter or to our google plus page and request over there and i would definitely provide you the links as soon as possible so thank you for watching i'll see you in the guys in the next video peace